Did you ever think what are some of the generational curses and traumas that you are carrying from your previous lifetimes or in this lifetime? <laughs> Do you know there is a chart called the D12 chart? It's a divisional chart called the Dwada Shamsha chart. Many people say, many astrologers say that's the chart of your parents. Well, not exactly. See, no divisional chart represents a particular relative. Okay, so for example, the Navamsha is not the chart of your spouse, which means if your spa, if your Navamsha Lagna is uh, Capricorn, it does not mean your spouse will be a Capricorn Ascendant or a Capricorn Moon or a Capricorn Sun. Okay. Uh, similarly, the, the Shamsha chart is not the chart of your boss because your boss may keep changing, but it shows circumstances of your profession which may not change irrespective of the profession that you are in. And then we have uh, the D12 chart. So similarly, the D12 is not the chart of your parents, but, 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 but it can show blunders that some of your ancestors might have done or in this lifetime or in your previous lifetimes, you as an ancestor might have done certain things and also in your previous lifetimes, your many, many ancestors might have done some uh, something wrong, which is indicated in the D12 chart. The good things are also indicated, but what is very important is that you understand this planet Saturn because Saturn in the D12 chart, the Dwada Shamsha chart can show uh, the sufferings which your ancestors might have given to other people, okay? So Saturn's placement is very important because Saturn will show the pain that you will get because it shows the pain that you have given or your ancestors have given. Now, somebody may have this question. My ancestors have done something wrong. Why should I be punished for it? <laughs> well, see... It's not that randomly your ancestors have done something and, you know, you are uh, going to get that punishment. No, it doesn't work like that. It, it's like saying you yourself might have done something wrong to somebody, but that is manifesting through the blunders of your uh, ancestors, okay? So it, it won't happen that you would have done nothing wrong and then suddenly you have a Saturn placed in a particular house in the D12 and suddenly you realize, oh, my ancestors have uh, might have done something wrong in this area. Okay, And that is why I'm being punished. So that's not correct. So first of all, we need to take uh, responsibility that this is the D12 chart, but it is our D12. It is my D12. It's your D12. So it's not any random person's D12. So therefore, uh, the placement of Saturn in the D12 tells you a lot about what are some of the negative patterns that could be running in your family through a long, long period, okay? So, for example, uh, as they say, you know, generational trauma keeps passing down and it keeps going from one person to the other uh, till the time there is a person who breaks it. Otherwise, uh, generational curses and trauma, they continue and it, get, it, it just does not continue randomly. It actually gets worse, okay? So, therefore... Uh, if you have a difficult Saturn in the D12, now how do you judge a difficult Saturn? Well, of course, if Saturn is placed uh, in debilitation sign or in enemy sign or it is uh, afflicted by Mars, Rahu, Ketu uh, or combust by the sun or um, if it is uh, in Papkartri Yoga, okay, and also if Saturn is placed in a Dustana house like 6th, 8th, 12th, then, so in your D12 chart, if your Saturn is in these placements, okay, as, as I mentioned, then you need to understand that there are some serious um, karmic backlogs awaiting you from the side of your ancestors. So, for example, if Saturn is in your sixth house in D12, not in D1 again, in the D12 chart, then it can happen uh, that you, uh, if in this life you have Saturn in 16 D12 and in this life you are facing a lot of uh, problems financially, okay, uh, from your Lagna chart, your D10 and your D9, which indicates, you know, financial problems and financial gains. So if your Saturn is well placed in the Lagna chart, D1 in the Bhava chart, in the D9 and D10, and you are still not gaining any money, okay, in Saturn Dasha, 
then you need to check your Saturn in D12. Then it means that if Saturn is in the sixth house in D12, along with a good Saturn in all these other divisional charts, D1, D9, D10, the BC, then it can mean that somebody has cursed some of your uh, ancestors and they might have taken money from somebody. Okay, so it, it happens always. Like uh, in India, you will hear sometimes, you know, uh, they say, uh, this is a fight of generations. Uh, what do they say in Hindi? <laughs> so it's like saying one member from your family might have taken loan from somebody in, in, in some other family. And your family member uh, would have not repaid back the loan. And because of that, and you would have done something similar in your past lifetime. So now that same thing is coming back to you. Okay, through this family member's uh, bad deeds and curse. So if you have a bad Saturn in D12, then you need to understand that you may do a lot of remedies, but in general, you have to understand that you may not get any results because uh, that karma is very deep. So then the question is, what should you do? Then the answer is not easy, but what you can do is you need to contact uh, your parents and your grandparents, if possible, your great grandparents or at least some elder in your family to at least check that was there something which uh, my grandfather, grandmother said to somebody and uh, they did not do it. Okay. Now, if you ask this and you say this, 80% uh, of the times you will get the answer. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know who did what. Okay. So it's not very easy to get an answer. It's not also practical. So for example, if you're a mother says, oh yeah, your grandmother took some money from uh, this lady and she didn't return. But then maybe that lady is also not living. So <laughs> who do you uh, who do you go and donate? So in this case, if you come to know that uh, some family member had taken money from somebody. So if their descendants are there, you know, if that lady or that man's son, daughter or anybody in-laws, or anybody related to that family if you can uh, give a contribution there or a donation you know that can that can uh, do actually wonders okay this is something very practical because you know, it is literally like you know killing uh, your bad karma by uh, paying that back okay and also it's not necessary that it's related to money so for example if saturn is in the sixth house it could be money but if saturn is in the eighth house then it is possible that your somebody might have given some terrible suffering okay like you know um, cheating or yeah anything any, anything or you know like trying to assassinate somebody so uh, these things could be there okay and therefore uh, you need to find out to whatever extent possible if there is anything wrong which is done okay now let's assume your saturn is badly placed in the d12 and uh, there's nothing that you can do about it, which means, you know, you, you either don't know who did what um, or you know, but there's nobody to give the money or to, you know, beg forgiveness from. So what do you do? This will be your case in 90% of the situations. Okay. So then the question is, what should you do? Should you just uh, do nothing? Well, no, there are certain things you can still do. So first is you try practically. Okay. Try and go and see. If you can do something within your family or do some you know pay or beg forgiveness if that doesn't work then what you can do is on every amavasya amavasya is a new moon okay so it is when sun and moon are together so on every new moon uh, you can go and donate uh, one coconut into the river it can also be uh, to a to, uh, it's like you know what do they say like tributary which goes and joins the river okay uh, preferably don't give it to a pond or a lake because that doesn't make sense so or it could be to an ocean also but preferably to a river that's the best okay so uh, if you can donate one uh, coconut every day for the rest of your life or I mean on every amavasya every new moon for the rest of your life okay this will be very good because this will help you get rid of your karmas and what you can do along with this is you can pray uh, 
you can pray to Lord Nara and Lord Vishnu, Lord Hari, uh, that please uh, accept this as a rep, uh, what do they say? As a remedy from my side, you know, uh, as a uh, price, <laughs> not remedy. It's like you are paying for something. Okay, if you can't find anybody, if you don't know anybody, if you can't like, uh, if there's no other solution, okay, then do this. And apart from this, uh, you can chant the Vishnu Sastanam that will really help you. And apart from that, uh, on Saturdays, you should give some donations to some needy people. That's very, very, very essential. So if you do this three, uh, then you will see that the effects of a bad Saturn in the D12 will gradually uh, start to wave off. But of course, the first is the practical remedy if you can do the practical steps as I mentioned. After this only you should take to these three steps. And the fourth remedy you can do which is maybe the most important is to chant this mantra Om Namo Narayanaya. This is a very important mantra you can chant for a bad Saturn in the D12. And if you do this four and you want to go even higher then there are a lot of other things you can do, you know, you can do fasting. So you can do all the generic Saturn remedies, but specifically these uh, three, four, five remedies you need to do. Okay. So then what happens is now also you have to try to identify where exactly the problem is. So for example, if your Saturn is in the 16 D D12, just don't assume it's some money which you have to pay back. It's not as simple as that. You need to look at the overall D12 and that requires a very uh, stringent analysis. But if there are certain things like uh, Saturn is in the sixth house with Venus, so then you can give donations to some needy lady okay, on Saturdays. So this is how you can kind of try to alter the results. You can be, be a bit more specific. okay. And if uh, Saturn is... A, with venus in the sixth house in capricorn or aquarius then you can give to elderly ladies okay if it is in the sign of venus itself then some young lady or you know, some uh, kumari or some somebody like that okay uh, like uh, girl who is less than 20 years or maybe has not reached puberty or even if she has reached puberty that's fine young girls basically okay if it is uh, in taurus or libra so that's how you know. Also, if your Saturn is badly placed, uh, but with the Lord of the fourth house of the D12, then you have to understand that there is some emotional pain or suffering or trauma that your ancestors might have given and that's coming through you now because you did the same. Okay. So then in that case, uh, you, you have to ensure that you are not continuing this. Okay. So don't do the same with your children or with your dependents or with your spouse because the karma can come in a gross way which is you know like financial hardships or it can come through some subtle means also you know, like for example uh, you're you're you are abusing your children you are punishing them more than that's necessary and uh, you are insulting others or you know you are hurting others basically by your speech so uh, try not to do that, okay, if your Saturn is with the moon or uh, with the fourth lord in a, in a bad dignity in the D12, okay. And if the tenth lord is involved or uh, with a bad Saturn in D12, then yes, it's profession. So you have to be uh, very moral. You have to follow all rules and regulations in your profession. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, if you break the rules, your children will see that and they'll try to imitate and they will also try to pretend, oh, we'll, do, we'll be exactly like the way our father is, okay? So therefore, uh, please check your Saturn. And if your Saturn is well-placed, uh, then it can mean you have uh, comparatively less uh, traumas from your previous generations, okay? Now, again, traumas could come in a physical way, like money or wealth and all this, or it could be subtle, okay? it could be like defamation or it could be like, you know, insult, it could be like uh, emotional trauma, somebody, your spouse could cheat on you or something like that, okay? So therefore, depending on the situation, depending on how your Saturn is, you might have to take the necessary steps to rectify and therefore that that is very important because if you don't rectify, then what happens is, 
in your next hundred thousand generations that trauma will continue and it will all if, even if you don't take birth again as in this in your own family you might take birth in some other family okay now uh, but that will uh, in again impact you there because your karma is yours so if you continue to pass on your generational traumas then you will again get birth in another family in another dynasty which again has a lot of uh, traumas okay uh, generational trauma so therefore it's very crucial that you see because i see people they tell me all the time oh my horoscope is very good you know this is good that is good 10 good things you know no bad things and then i see the d12 when i see saturn yeah it's right there so do not ignore this i'm not telling you that other charts are useless no i'm not saying that so first you see the d1 the bhava chart then you see the d9 then you see the d10 and then you see the d12 and especially because uh, the first ancestor that you have that is actually your parents right so <clears throat> so that this also means that you might have to settle some deals with your parents and your children specifically okay so the spouse and in-laws may not come in this but your parents and your children these two two groups you have to make sure you settle okay so try to uh, talk and see if you can come to come to a middle point okay if there are something uh, certain points uh, but of course it's not very easy because relationships with your parents and children are very 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 extremely karmic so it's not easy to settle them with ease but you might have to keep it in a to a level which you can uh, adjust and you can digest okay because you may not be able to like completely kill off your karma but you might be able to keep it to such an extent that it does not hamper you and it does not further create bad karma okay and it further does not pass on the generational curses okay so do not forget to check the d12 and saturn specifically all right Thank you so much for your patience. If you're new, then please subscribe to the channel. And for consultations, please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him for sure. Thank you.